What is up my tubes? Episode 7 here, Team Apex winning season. We had a really awesome freaking week of training back on back on the tubes grind. Um, all of the comments, you know, were super positive coming back. You know, we've been off for a couple weeks here. Um, so thank you guys for the love and support. It's uh, it's really nice to see, you know, all the comments and stuff. Um, Right now, Matt and I are just heading out to do some errands and we figured, why not bring the vlog camera and talk a little bit about the Arnold? <laughs> Two -time Arnold Kid, Missy So yeah, I guess we'll start off with the fitness division here. This is like not formal or anything. Just, you know, Matt and I shooting the shit here basically. So we'll start off with the fitness division. Um, all in all, it was really cool to be at home watching <laughs> and not uh, there competing. I know I had so many DMs from people being like, oh, where are you and Matt? Like we want to meet you and blah, blah, blah. And that was super nice to see, but you know, it was nice to kind of be at home, right babe? Yeah, like just yeah. out of the chaos and stuff. Um, so pre-judge was great. You know, the girls, majority of them were in shape and um, the conditioning, you know, they brought. Um, I, thought, I thought everyone looked really good. Um, they shuffled around some girls in the second call out, which um, was definitely like understandable with the conditioning. Um, so you guys know the physique round is one third of our final score and then the night show is the, the last part of our scoring the three quarters there. Um, so the the routines were great. Were you entertained with them? Yeah, I thought the whole, yeah, I thought the show was good. Yeah. I Just one step back. You know how people after the Olympia were like complaining that like, they're not uh, a lot of people it's just that one percent like the fitness divisions made the men's open go till 1 a.m or what you know oh yeah <laughs> Not, and then here's here's a perfectly well-run show with a schedule yeah starts on time yep done in like two two and a half hours yeah perfect they kept it moving yeah yeah anyway i, anyway, I yeah. thought that was awesome you know just yeah, having such like a well-run show 10 yeah. 10 competitors for each division it actually went a little too fast in my opinion it did go really fast yeah but um, you know i mean east coast people you know get it done yeah you know yeah that's true yeah yeah, yeah. so anyway um yeah so the routines were good um it was nice to see um some new faces up there um and yeah, I thought, you know, big congrats to um, the winner, Ariel, and... It was um, surprising that Jacqueline got first, physique, Ariel second. Not yeah. based on how they looked. I mean, I think all the judging was pretty much spot on. I yeah. mean, they were both in shape, but I don't, I don't think that was the expectation going in. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway... You never know. You, you gotta never bring, know. You got to bring it on show day. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, for fitness at least, you know, it's not over till the night show. So, yeah, you gotta, you know, stay in it mentally and just give it, give it your all. Um, so moving on to bikini. Wow, I really enjoyed watching the bikini division. Um, I watched the prejudge and I watched the night show, and man, Laura Lee just freaking dominated. I mean, I know the judges feedback for her from the Olympia was that she needed to be fuller. And I never really like understood like this whole fullness in a bikini athlete. Like what are they looking for? And then they kind of brought back the new standard of like Maureen letting her win the Olympia this year. And I'm like, okay, this is a really different look than what the bikini girls are actually looking like on stage. Cause a lot of them are really lean and you know, once they start carving up, um, they start to get vascular. And I mean, I, from watching online, Laura Lee was just freaking nails. Like she looked so good. 
from what I could see, she didn't, she wasn't veiny or like striated anywhere. She brought that fullness. People say her glutes might be a little too big. I totally disagree with that. I think she's perfect. Um, Maureen looked great too. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, should got, Jennifer should have got sick. I I'm, agree with that. I'm not a bikini expert, yeah. so no one should keep my opinion, but she, yeah. her and Laura Lee to me stood out. Yeah, Jennifer looked amazing. I, you know, between her and Laura Lee, like, it's, it's whoever brings it that day, you know? It's, um, and not saying that Jennifer didn't, because she definitely did, and her suit was gorgeous, her hair, like, everything, um... But, you know, Olympia is going to be a tough show this year for them. So yeah. that'll be cool to watch. Um, unfortunately. Oh, no, they compete on the Saturday. So I can watch. But I'm actually, like, a huge fan of bikini now. Like, that was that was so cool. Because I'm usually, like, in the heat of everything, right? Like, I'm competing. I can't really, like, get into it as much. Because um, I'm so focused on myself. But, you know, this weekend was cool. I, I have a new found love for bikini here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, she, Laura Lee clearly got penalized at the Olympia. Yeah. Not, not for being out of shape, for being almost in too good of shape. Yeah. Too muscular, too hard. Yeah. Uh, and then in eight to 10 weeks, she basically fixes it. Yep. Quote unquote. And like, to me, she was lights out the winner. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. She when she great. came out with her posing. Yeah. yeah she was great. Um, so, moving on here to Men's Classic. Um, that I, was lights out right away. So was Men's Physique. Yeah. I mean, kudos yeah, for to the sure. people that won, but like... Yeah, it was... It almost was no drama. Yeah, I mean, lights out, so we're not even going to touch on that. Let's go to the Men's Open. I, you guys know I freaking love bodybuilding. I'm a huge fan of majority of these guys big congratulations to Samson um, but you guys know I love Nick Walker the mutant and God when they called his name second my like I almost started crying because I know that feeling I know what that feels like and man it's you know what I think it's a blessing in disguise because he's just gonna come back even better I mean he's gonna be so motivated and so just have that fuel and if you think of men's open right mm -hmm. the top four maybe even five just oh sean was fifth so yeah just all fucking in shape crazy like e fitness the top four or five just freaking nails great routines in shape yep uh bikini like Olympia level, obviously. A lot of them were from the Olympia. I mean, yeah, yeah. This Arnold was good. It was really good. But anyway, yeah. men's open. Like it was funny. So you you wanted Nick. Yeah. I wanted Andrew Jacked. Yeah. Who's the most? I've seen a lot of open bodybuilders up close and in person. Yeah. You know this. The only person who I've ever literally been in awe of. Yeah. Is Andrew Jacked. The guy is a goddamn brick wall. Tell the story from Olympia. Yeah, no, I mean, he was awesome at the press conference. So I, oh, we yeah. saw him at the meet and greet. And I yeah. was like, dude, you saved the meeting, or not the meet and greet, the press conference. Yeah. Which was really cheesy and boring this year, except for him. Yeah. So I was like, dude, thanks for bringing a little life into the press conference because the, the format just didn't work. Yeah. And then so I slapped him on the shoulder and like, dude, is this guy made of fucking concrete? <laughs> and he's like a legit... You know, he's eye to eye. I mean, he's like six one six. Yeah, two. he's massive. Yeah, yeah. he's like your height. Just an absolute freaking brick like, shit house. I mean, he is awesome. So anyway, yeah, I'm rooting for Andrew Jack. You're rooting for Nick. Samson wins, and that we can't really complain. Like we even went the order. Yeah, it could have gone one, two, three. It really could have. Yeah, but, I mean, I have no pushback over Samson winning. Yeah, you know his. No, his, no. It's almost like Nick was the most conditioned. I think Andrew has the best shape. Yeah. Samson is in between on both of those, but that kind of makes him the most complete. So I don't know. I mean, right. it was an awesome show. That's a good breakdown, babe. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Andrew really wowed me. Like, when he was, like, you know, when they were shuffling them around, I love Nick. And then Andrew's beside him, and I'm like, whoa, okay, these guys are... They look so different, right? They have different muscle... Um, like roundness and conditioning 
but man, props to them. And freaking Andrew's posing routine, like hitting the splits and, I mean, that's, that's hard. <laughs> like it's even hard for me. So <laughs> kudos to Andrew for pulling that off. Um, just, you know, I, hats off to everyone. You know, yeah. the, the men's open, they're just, they're another level and, you know, they deserve that $300,000. Um, you know, everyone works really hard, but you know, men's open, that's, that's like the bread and butter, right? Like, yeah, they're bringing the eyes. They're bringing it. So yeah, bringing the eyes. Um, I think that that's, oh, the wellness division. We watched the wellness. Well, I watched I it. I did not watch much. I don't know how. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't agree with that one, in all honesty. But. Yeah. Um, I am not, like, wellness is so new. And the pro, the IFBB Pro Wellness is so different compared to the NPC, like, amateur wellness. Like, the girls are just look so different. So, I'm not even going to give my two cents on what I think because the judges know um but i really like angela and i think that she was really lean but had that fullness to her to her shoulders and her glutes were awesome her back shot was great um i don't know the person the the woman who won but um i remember she had a blue suit i, I just i do think <laughs> this that, is in-depth analysis <laughs> yeah. i do think that um I don't know. I, I, I feel... It's almost like, you know, like bikini can't be too hard, right? Or too muscular, right? Yeah. There's kind of that standard. Mm -hmm. um, wellness, they have to have the freaky proportions. Yeah. But can't be too freaky. Yeah. Well, they're super freaky. They're almost alien. And I mean that in a good way. Yep. But then they can't be too, meaning some of the wacky stuff they do. Right. Can't be too out of dimension. Yeah. But anyway, it's hard to it's hard to score those top couple cuz yeah, they're insane looking. Yeah. Yeah, in a good way. But anyway. Yeah. Um so, you know, um Olympia is going to be so awesome this year, guys. It's going to be in Orlando. I'm going to be there um, you know, defending my title and I just appreciate all you guys who follow along on my journey because we're putting been, the work in this off season. Yeah, yeah. We have been trying to like treat this like not not restful because we haven't missed a workout, still on diet, everything else. But we've been trying to be like somewhat low key, a little. Yeah. And I mean, I can tell your engines are fucking revving. <laughs> like, like from from yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like I mean. This engine, this rocket ship is ready to go. Yeah, like I don't start doing fitness stuff usually till I'm like what, like twenty something weeks out. Yeah, hardcore. Yeah. yeah. And you're hitting it all the time already. All the time. Yeah, you've already got like your theme. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how many weeks out? We're talking thirty six, thirty five, thirty four now. There's, okay, thirty four. There's a lot. Of, I mean, that's a lot of time. Yeah. Um, and you're already like rocking. We're listening to music. Oh yeah. I mean. Yeah. Um, and so, if people haven't gone to the Olympia, I, I know like Orlando, not, I've said this before, but yeah. not as exciting as Vegas, but for the venue and, and the, the expo, expo, like get a room now in that host hotel. Oh yeah. Because every bodybuilder, every like bikini athlete, they're, everyone is, you, you don't drive anywhere. Yeah. So everyone's just walking around. Yep. Everyone's in a great mood. It's amazing. Yeah. Vegas is crazy. It's chaotic, stressful. It's yeah. chaotic. It's hard to get around. I mean, Vegas is great, but for a bodybuilding show, it's very chaotic. Orlando is insanely smooth, and everybody is in a better mood. Yeah, yeah. big Orlando, time. I can't wait. I love Orlando. Yeah, we got to get there early because I hate the time change. I yeah, used no, we'll get there way early. We yeah. keep getting there earlier and earlier. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Pretty soon. It's going to be crazy. All right, anyway. So we're going to do our food this week, right? We're yeah. do your food? Good. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys my off-season food. And I, I love I love the comments, guys, on, um, you know, where you guys say, like, oh, you look so good, Missy. You look different, but you look good. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> enjoying food. Actually, I'm not even enjoying food. It's no, you're complaining about it. Yeah, I'm like, oh man, I got to eat. Big time eye roll. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Only on social media is anyone critical of like an in shape girl who's like off season. Yeah, it's so I, weird. I follow obviously a lot of like competitors. And, yeah. You know, everybody goes through this like you're going through. Yeah. Like I don't look as good and or, you know, whatever. And it's like, no dude is thinking that. <laughs> like, I'm telling you. Like, I see the off season, you know, whatever. Like, yeah. your husband is happy. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, Thanks, it's only, babe. yeah, it's only, you know, you, you're not ripped and shredded. And so, engagement goes down on social media, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I just, I want to say. Gives a shit about that stuff. Yeah. For people, you know, who take the time to, you know, get their calories in a surplus and train heavier and harder, try to make the improvements, whether you're male or female, like, don't let the negative comments affect you on social media. I'm getting it a lot right now with people just being so ignorant. And it's like, man, you, you are be... getting, you are getting it a lot. Oh yeah. I'm getting it a lot. It, you I know, I can't even, honestly, I don't think this is, uh, I think the, the, the more successful, the more hate you get. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually I, I actually avoid it now. Yeah, like some pages when they repost me, I don't even usually I would go on the page and comment to the people like who had made comments because if you're saying nice things about me, like obviously I wanna engage and thank you for it. But sometimes I can't even go on these pages because the people are just so ruthless. And it's like, man, do you have nothing better to do in your life than be negative towards someone you don't even know? Yeah, just like, keep scrolling. Yeah. Yeah, I see people that I don't like their outfit or their attire, you know, like non-workout related people. Sure. I just keep scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> I would never, there was a, I showed it to you briefly, but then I wouldn't show you. There was a, it's funny, cause like your YouTube videos get like, you know, 7,000 views tops, less than that, the yeah. top season. So there was that YouTube like short. Oh yes. Someone just stole your video from Instagram uh -huh. and posted it. <laughs> like they didn't, there was nothing else, not edited. They literally just took your post, yeah, put it on YouTube, used it to like sell something. Promote their training. Yeah, yeah. It had 1.4 million views, 1,100 <laughs> comments. And this, I mean, Negative comments? Oh my god, yeah, nine out of ten were negative. <laughs> this is the part I don't like about YouTube, which I have yeah. always kind of been resistant yeah. until like your YouTube and some of the other pros have really positive uh, followers, which yeah. is awesome because the actual is brutal, the yeah. comments. Like, I mean, everybody's sarcastic, they're not funny, you know, and yeah. it, oh, man, the insecurity is just. Yeah. It just reeks. Like, really, it's it's like the golden rule we learned in kindergarten. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. But there is something, it's deeper though, because like, it's, obviously it's easy to be critical online, but, yeah, you know, I just think anybody with any, like, self-respect, self-confidence, just, we just know, why would I say something mean about this person online, right? Right. Um, I walk around with you in public. I know the amount of guys staring. And I'm like, amen. <laughs> I'm staring too. Um, so these, these friggin' little kids on, you know, YouTube who are just throwing me. Anyway, all right. We're off tangent here. <laughs> it's I all good. We love, it, yeah, babe. we love our tubes. No. I do have to, I've gotten to the point where it's just like, this is doing me no good. Yeah. Reading it. Right. You know. It was kind of funny for a while, but as you've gotten more popular, it's just, I don't know, it's worse. Yeah. No, it's definitely, uh, it, honestly, guys, like, between me, you, and the tubes, like, <laughs> it it does, it it's it's hurtful. It can't um, not be. It can't not be. Yeah. Because the people are going for stuff that they know yeah. is, is to be mean. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, I honestly, guys, I just encourage you all, like, don't... Don't let those like negative comments affect you. You know, if people are like writing, you know, horrible things on your pictures, just block and delete. That's one of my favorite things to do on Instagram. I just block and delete people all the time. Um, you don't have anything nice to say, goodbye, see you later, on to the next. <laughs> I don't put up with that shit. So, um, but I, I guess we'll end it here with the Arnold recap. Yeah, we that just was, stay in our fun little bubble. Yeah, like, <laughs> like right. the bubble with the tubes. Yep, all, all right. right. Bye, guys. We'll uh, catch you in the next segment. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
full day of eating. This is my meal one here. Camera guys is going to be a little wonky as we uh, do this because Matt is at work, but we're going to make we're going to make it work here. All right, guys, you asked for it. We're doing a full day of eating. So um, let's get started with meal one here. I'm doing two whole eggs. I like to use the organic um, free range, cage free for like my yolks. And then here I have just a bunch of like cheap white eggs that I'm gonna be doing five egg whites. And then we're also doing um, three pieces of toast and then 100 grams of mixed berries. So we're gonna get that roll in here. And then I have a post office appointment for my passport. Um, so I gotta quickly like fill out all the information on that. I actually did it last night, but um, I messed up on the form and you can't have any mistakes. So like I reprinted it out and I gotta do that quickly. And then you guys are coming with us to train back. So today is my back day with Matt and it's, it's heavy. So we are going to be getting after it. So we got our eggs right here, but first I gotta throw the toast in. Bit of a sourdough kick. So I'm gonna use like one big slice here and then half so this is like equal to like three. So got that going. And then you guys know I salt my food. We're doing a quarter teaspoon of salt here. We're doing a hundred grams of berries. So I'm just gonna do those two strawberries wash them up and then cut them. Alright, so we got our two whole eggs, five egg whites, three pieces of toast, this is sourdough, and then a hundred hundred grams of strawberries. This is my meal one. I'm gonna eat this and then get moving on with the day. So I'll meet you guys back here for our pre-workout meal. Look who's home from work. <laughs> Time to lift. Yeah, so meal two, meal two now. Um, I am doing uh, rice and grinds, cream of rice. This is uh, brown sugar cinnamon and I'm doing one scoop of this. And we're gonna add a little water to it. I just eyeball it because I've been doing it for so long. Now I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes. All right, so we just did two minutes with the cream of rice. It's gonna look like that. Um, I actually have a code with Pride Foods. It's Missy uh, if you wanna use that for your cream of rice. Uh, I'm gonna be adding a quarter teaspoon of salt. Look at that glorious. Oh, yeah. Yummy. And then now we're gonna add one tablespoon of peanut butter. Put that in there. And then we're gonna use homemade meal replacement box and sludge. Now, usually with like weight gainers or whatever you call them, that's what you call them, right? Weight gainers? Meal replacement. Weight gainers, whatever. Um, usually read the label because a lot of them are designed for two scoops on the back. So we're gonna just use one scoop, which is 24 grams of protein and 
46 divided by 2 is 23. 23. 23. There's our, there's our scoopy. See, it's a pretty big one. So, we're going to add this in. Bloop. Just, ah, it's hot. Just like that. <laughs> now we're going to stir this bad boy up. Oh. Now we're losing everything. Losing our protein. All right. Let's stir this up. There you have it guys. Meal number two, pre-workout meal. It's gonna be hot as hell. Delish. Again, this is a sweet potato pie. Use code Missy, appreciate you. We're gonna get our pre-workout, intra-workout ready here and then we're gonna be hitting the gym to do up some back. So let's go.
Okie dokie. We just uh, got back from the gym, so now I'm going to be having my uh, post-workout meal, and I've totally switched my ways. I get like the, I guess like value bag of jasmine rice now, and I got a rice cooker off Amazon, the Squizinart little rice cooker, and I've perfected the rice. Now, I don't know if this is the right like measurements as you would go off of Google, but this is what I find works best with this little rice cooker. So. I'm doing two cups, two cups of dry jasmine rice. And then I'm putting it in the rice cooker like so. And then I'm going to do for every one cup of dry rice, you add one cup of water. So we would have two cups of water, but I'm also going to add two cups and then three quarters on like a, a liquid measuring cup. Just because the rice cooker gets really hot and um, I find that the rice will like burn if it doesn't have enough water. It's just like that. And then we put the lid on and then you plug it in and you turn it with this thing that's warm you turn it to cook and then once it's finished cooking it'll go click and then it'll go to warm and it'll stay on warm for a bit um i think until you unplug it actually i usually unplug it right away um because i don't want the rice to stick to the sides but um this is actually such a huge lifesaver and it actually saves a lot of money because we're not buying the uh, Ben's rice like the the pre-made stuff anymore those were like three bucks a bag and this five pound bag of dry rice was uh, I think like six bucks so it's like right there I'm saving so much money so um, but yeah I'm, I'll show you guys my post workout here in just a sec we gotta preheat the air fryer okay and super quick here we have the air fryer preheated and I am using chicken pound, chicken meatballs, fully cooked, they come frozen. Um, so I put in six balls for Matt and then four for me. So how I like to do it is because they're fully cooked, I put my air fryer to frozen and then I crank up the temperature to 400 and then the minutes I put it to 12. Start. Boom, and then we're gonna have our chicken meatballs and our rice ready at the same time. Okay guys, so our rice is already done. Matt's been kind of picking at his food, so he's got um, his, yeah, thank you for doing that. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> so what I do with the rice now, it took about, I wanna say 15 minutes to cook. So now I take it out of the rice cooker and just let it cool by itself here. Um, and you can see the two cups gives you a lot of rice like we have lots left over. So now I'm doing I'm gonna come over here because the lighting is probably better. So now I'm doing 10 ounces of rice. chicken meatballs we're doing a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil do we have one already open yeah okay let me let me grab the one in the pantry here virgin olive oil. I just put it on my rice. Then we're doing one ounce of raisins.
pull. Man, a lot going on here. And then quarter teaspoon of salt. I just throw it on the rice there. Flavor Gang, use code Missy. <laughs> Sweet Poppy with chicken meatballs is freaking awesome. So just go put a couple of drops on it, like so. Boom, meal three. Time to eat. Yep. All right. Let's do this. I'm so classy with my knife. All right guys, meal four. We are doing farm fed protein. I'm gonna close my eyes and I know the second row. <laughs> I, I want cookies and cream. So we're doing farm fed cookies and cream. And oats. I know you don't like the Kroger brand and stuff, but it's cheap. That's <laughs> technically not Kroger brand. That's Safeway. Oh yeah, Safeway. Okay, so this is meal four. One thing I love about farm fed protein is you don't need a, like it's so good with just water. You don't need like fair life milk or anything. So we're gonna one scoop and we're doing half a cup of dried oats. Were these quick? Yeah, quick oats, whatever, same thing. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Is it really a protein shake if you don't do that? Get it. Shake, 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 and then the next thing. You gotta lick the top. Oh, that's if, a must. if you don't lick the top, then you get juice and it hits you in the eye and it, it's the worst. Okay, that's meal four. Cheers. I'll catch you guys back here for meal five. All right, guys, moving on to meal five here. Showered, did some more client check ins. So I cooked up some beef right here. Honestly, it smelled a little funky, but. Two days after the expiration date is fine, right? I thought it smelled fine. We should have recorded us checking. The yeah. <laughs> I was like, babe, you got to like really get in there and smell it for me. Cause I had already smelt it a couple times and I was going to cook it anyways. And Matt's like literally like, like he <laughs> fucking put his nose right in. <laughs> um, okay. So we are doing meal number five here. This is like the dinner meal. I like, uh, these peas and carrots. This is just uh, like a no-name brand from Safeway if you're on the West Coast. And I just do a cup in here. I don't know why I put it on the scale. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it in the microwave for two minutes and then we're going to weigh out um, seven ounces of cooked jasmine rice. And this was from the cooker you guys saw from post-workout. So this is like the leftover. Um, so it's really convenient, you know, that, that rice cooker, I really think that, uh, totally like underrated. It's, it's really small, but I feel like it's the perfect amount like of rice that we need for a day. I know some people will use like those big, like industrial rice cookers and they do like crazy amounts of cups at a time and they'll leave the rice in the, in the pot for like week and they'll just eat from it like all week and it's like stays warm and that kind of like skis me up. Like I don't think, I like to let my food cool and then put it in the fridge. Um, yeah, I would not eat pre-warmed rice. Ugh. Would you? If you I got the big I, one? I didn't even know it that it worked like that. Yeah. Like Heidi Summer has this big one. And she just eats from it like all week. She cooks rice for her and Christian and then she just eats all week from it. Huh. Um, I think James. I'm kind of Hollingshed, intrigued. Yeah, I think he does the same. <laughs> I want a giant rice cooker with <laughs> rice cooked all the time. This I sounds know. pretty amazing actually. It's honestly like this big. It's like a big one. Like huh. it's, it's like a big industrial. 
I mean, we can look into it. I mean, we, we eat so much rice now as it is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're kind of just waiting on that bowl there. Are you hungry? Not at all. No. <laughs> it's funny because when I do my check-ins with Shelby, he's like, all right, so when, where are you hungry? Where can we add more food? And I'm just like, ugh. Uh, not hungry, but you just tell me where to eat and I'll eat. So <laughs> he just, yeah, it keeps increasing the food. It's good though. Like I know this, this is what works well for my body. Um, it's funny because Instagram was showing me like memories from what, 2018. 18 and 19. Yeah. yeah. And oh my gosh, I was so small, like literally, literally like no freaking muscle. <laughs> Okay, so we're going that and then we're putting it to zero and then we're going to do seven ounces cooked rice. You are just packing down rice. Yeah. Good enough, 6.8. <laughs> no, come on. Look at Leo, he's down there like... Wagging his tail. Yeah. 7.1. All right, Sadie, you can have... There we go, perfect. Yeah, you're helping mommy. <laughs> okay, now this is going to go back in the microwave for a minute because it's already cooked. At this point, I don't even really eat for like pleasure. It's more or less just like get get in the calories um with this i call this like my like uh like dog food bowl like it, it reminds me of like what you would like feed to a dog <laughs> that <laughs> so, is not selling this <laughs> it's actually like it's actually really good so there's two sauces i like to use with with that actually three um where's my other one nerdy Oh, not that one. Take out. There we go. Um, so, to keep it fresh, you could either do the Nerdy Sanchez, which you guys know how I uh, flavor my meat. I do it like taco seasoning style, so this is a good pair. The takeout is really good too, uh, like a Panda Express. And then the low sodium, whatever this is, soy sauce. Is really good so we're gonna throw the rice back on here and then we're gonna do do I is this my skill do I know how to work this thing like every time <laughs> it like messes up use the thing like five times a day yeah okay now we're adding four ounces of beef there we go There we go. <laughs> and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I I'll like season my meat like with salt, but I still like to add that on there. And you saw you salt all your meals and then use low sodium soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just it's better. All right. Spin it, spin it, spin it. Am I close? Am I close to it? Well, they're all really close together. <laughs> yes. Do What's it. my arm on? Oh, so that's soy sauce because it was the tallest. Oh, cool. All right, well, we're going to do it. <laughs> Actually, we're going to do two. So. I, I don't really care so much about like the less sodium. It's... Well, clearly you salt your foods. Yeah. No, yeah. Th this is... um from like oh my god like the early 2000s dusty hanshaw used to always eat this mm -hmm. like with his chicken and rice so when i was younger this is what i used yeah and it's i've just carried it on bodybuilder soy sauce yeah for the pumps actually uh, no we're gonna take out a little takeout on here boom now mix it up It 
That's good. Yeah. See, doesn't it look like kind of like a dog food? Yeah. <laughs> and then, with each bite, you kind of get in the mix of everything. Really flavorful, salty. The green peas give a little snap. I love it. There you go. Meal five. Meal five. We got one more to go. A couple hours. Yep. We'll be back. We'll be back, tubes. Got it. All right, guys. Last meal. I'm starting it off with my Inspire brand gummies. These are the pe peach, or not peach, <laughs> like the, they kind of look like peach rings, but they're different flavored, assorted flavors. And this just helps with my sleep. My code is Missy for Inspire Bram. You already took yours, right? Yeah. So, last meal. We got our English muffin already in the toaster here. Those are um, sourdough. English muffins. I, I like to mix it up. I'll do like the sourdough. I'll do cinnamon raisin, just whatever I'm kind of feeling. Just use them up. And then we're going to do six ounces of this fage lactose free Greek yogurt. There's also a Chobani brand, uh, low fat, which is really good. It's like a dark blue label. And then most of the time, Greek yogurt tastes a little sour. Uh, how else would you describe it? I like the taste, but it's sour. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's sour. So I add farm-fed banana split dip and Dots flavor, and I just do half a scoop. So that's 11 grams of protein right there plus what's in the fage, and then I just mix it up here. You could use vanilla protein powder as well. Um, strawberry's really good. I'm sure chocolate would be good too, right? It would kind of be like a mousse. I, I haven't done chocolate before though. Um, and then we're gonna do these big Costco's from Strawberry, two of them is like 100 grams. So I'm just, I washed up two. Cut these bad boys up. Oh, mold. That cleaned it. <laughs> Five second roll. <laughs> All right, couple seconds on this English muffin. Um, you could do a little bit of butter on it. We have the Kerry Gold butter, grass-fed. I love this. I'll put like a little bit on here, and then um, to top it, I'm dipping into your salt now. The pink Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt and butter is so freaking good. a little bit here. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> I almost dropped the camera. That was the worst spreading of butter in history. <laughs> and then you go like this. Mmm. It's like a like steakhouse. Like yeah, I was gonna say that was steakhouse we got to. Yeah. Because they do like it's the, relative. It's it's relatively clean, you know. Uh, but have you ever eaten this much before? I mean, this is off season, getting after it. No. We've never gone this high with the food. Yeah. So, 
this is meal six. Um, we'll watch like half an hour of TV and then we go to bed. So yeah, guys, I'm pushing the food. I feel great. Um, that squeaky garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's distracting me right wow. now. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel really good. Um, the food is awesome. Training has been going really well. So we're probably going to stay in this surplus of calories for, I don't know, we're 34 weeks out now. I could see us being here for like another, oh man, I don't know, eight six. weeks. Oh, and that's more than that. Yeah. 14 weeks takes you to 20. Yeah. You know. Yeah, maybe. And you slowly start getting into it. Right. So yeah, my food is really high, guys. I'm so excited to start dieting and like shred down because <laughs> that's the life of a bodybuilder when you're dieting yeah oh my god i miss rice and like you know and now you're like oh man all this food yeah yeah but the cool thing is is that like this off season has been stu super super strategic like all of my food is like clean yeah i've been getting it in and you know still doing cardio um i do cardio six days a week 20 minutes you guys know that and doing more gymnastics practices which is good for like my skills and endurance even at this weight i am now um flexibility is awesome so i just overall feel like i'm improving and yeah i just i, I can't wait to start dieting it's gonna be a good one yeah so i'm gonna take this go sit on the couch and eat so i'm gonna end the video here guys i hope you enjoyed it this is a full day of eating off season style maybe in a couple weeks when we add more food in i'll take you guys on this little uh day of eating again and you can see me stuff my face um, but i hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new and thank you again for all the support you guys freaking mean the world to me and matt and i will catch you in the next video right babe right best love you best youtube in the world oh yeah